The Wild West was a time period in American history that involved westward expansion across the United States. During that time, pioneers looked west to the frontier in hopes of starting new lives. This glimpse into the hygiene habits of those living in the Wild West proves that life on the frontier was not for the faint of heart. Habit number one, a kerchief served many purposes. One of the most iconic aspects of a cowboy's outfit is his kerchief or bandana, something he couldn't live without. They served a multitude of purposes, such as keeping the dust out of their mouths and noses, protecting their neck from the sun, ears from the cold, and more. Of course, Hollywood also likes to show them as a way for outlaws to hide their faces when committing a robbery. They were made from a variety of materials and were mostly red. To wear one, you would fold it into a triangle and tie the knot around your neck. Habit number two, some used whiskey as shampoo. If they were lucky, some people had access to soap weed in order to wash their hair. But that wasn't the only method around. Besides drinking it, whiskey served a variety of purposes ranging from a disinfectant to a shampoo. When mixed with castor oil, it was used to wash hair, which was then rinsed with rainwater or water softened with borax. When it came to women styling their hair, it wasn't uncommon for them to use heated pencils as rudimentary curlers. Habit number three, dentists were non-existent. Back in the Old West, toothbrushes, toothpaste, and other oral care products weren't prevalent. This meant that a lot of people suffered from severe oral issues, and when a tooth became problematic, it was usually just pulled out. With dentists being uncommon, this task was usually performed by barbers or blacksmiths or even the patient themselves. Of course, besides drinking or applying whiskey, there were a few pain medications available as well. All in all, oral care was horrendous, and countless people paid the price for it. Habit number four, finding drinkable water, was a feat. In the Wild West, finding clean water was imperative to survival, especially when traveling. Yet, it wasn't easy to come by. Even when people believed they found drinkable water, it was always possible that an outhouse had been built upstream, potentially contaminating the water. On the other hand, stagnant water was essentially poison as it usually attracted insects or had already been stepped in by horses. Furthermore, the rainwater that was collected using cisterns was fresh at first, but would eventually become undrinkable over time. Habit number five, the cowboy stench. After weeks on the trail, many cowboys were described as smelling like their horse. Although this saying led some to believe this was the result of a cowboy being atop his horse for extended periods of time, this is mostly the accumulation of normal skin bacteria from not being able to shower. Being so dirty, if a cowboy was unlucky enough to have a cut or abrasion with staff or strep, they had the possibility of impetigo. Although this was not always fatal, these infections were contagious and chronic among cowboys. Habit number six, there was sickness at every turn. Because of the unsanitary conditions that many people living in the Old West experienced, it was common for diseases to ravage settlements in the American frontier. One of the most prominent was cholera, which was devastating to both Native Americans and settlers alike. Sickness was at every turn, and it was seen as a miracle if you came across a camp or settlement where there wasn't any disease at all. According to Sarah Raymond Herndon's book, Upon Arrival at One Camp, there is no sickness in camp at all. It is marvelous how very well we are. I hope it will continue so. Habit number seven, soap wasn't a top priority. An associate of Billy the Kid, Frank Clifford, wrote a memoir about his life in the American West, even discussing his experiences with soap. He describes a product called soap weed, which Mexican women would use to wash their hair. It is made from the yucca plant and supposedly left their women's hair soft and clean and lustrous. While some people used soap weed, many settlers relied on soap made of animal fat. These homemade soaps were known to be particularly harsh and would cause skin irritation. Furthermore, body odor was considered to be just a fact of life 
with many believing that having overly clean pores would subject them to germs and disease. Habit number eight, outhouses were a nightmare. As you can imagine, going to the bathroom in a shed that's built on top of a hole in the ground isn't the most pleasant experience. Although nobody had a problem taking care of their business outside in the bushes or the woods, outhouses were typically built near homes. And when the hole became full, it was buried and the structure was moved to another hole. Unsurprisingly, considering the smell, outhouses attracted all kinds of insects and were an easy way to catch a disease. There was no toilet paper at the time either, with people relying mostly on leaves, corn cobs, and grass. Habit number nine, dust was a part of life. In the Wild West, dust was inescapable whether you were in or outdoors. Dust storms were frequent and devastating, covering entire towns in a thick layer of dirt and grime. Sarah Raymond Herndon, a young girl who traveled from Missouri to the Montana region in the 1860s, reflected in her book, Days on the Road, Crossing the Plains in 1865. Oh, the dust, the dust, it is terrible. I have never seen it half as bad. It seems to be almost knee deep in places, when we stopped, the boys' faces were a sight. They were covered with all the dust that could stick on. Of course, the presence of so much dust also caused severe respiratory illnesses. Exploring the hygiene habits of the Wild West has been a truly eye-opening journey. It's remarkable how the people of that era adapted to the challenges they faced, and it gives us a unique perspective on their resilience and resourcefulness. From the multi-purpose kerchiefs to the unconventional use of whiskey for shampoo, it's clear that hygiene in the Wild West was a far cry from our modern standards. Dentists were a rarity, clean water was a luxury, and sickness lurked around every corner. Soap, when available, could be harsh, and outhouses were a necessary evil. And who could forget the ever-present dust that seemed to blanket everything? As we reflect on these historical hygiene practices, it's important to appreciate the advancements we've made in cleanliness and healthcare. We're fortunate to live in a time where access to clean water, effective hygiene products, and medical care is readily available. So if you found this journey through the past as intriguing as I did, I invite you to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more captivating insights into history. And let's not forget to be grateful for the conveniences of modern life while honoring the resilience of those who came before us. As we conclude this exploration, remember to stay clean, stay curious, and always cherish the lessons that history has to offer. Until next time, keep uncovering the mysteries of our past. Take care.